Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to try a third version of the CC bar for my 1970 iron head. After the last ride I came home and it was a little bit wobbly and I only noticed when I came home this. So um, my plan is to um, take this all off, cut the brackets off because it was only 3 mil steel, cut a 5 millimeter hole in there and then um, I have from local engineers a scrap of metal which I am I have this scrap of metal it's a 5 millimeter steel and I'm gonna cut a bracket from here and hopefully another bracket from here I don't have any plasma cutter or anything fancy it's gonna be just good old hand grinding let's get to it okay the another annoying part of the dismantling is the bolts are uh, hidden in these rails which are hidden by the fender so to get to the fender bolt I can put my fingers through it if the tire is on so rather than taking the whole real wheel off I'll just take the shocks out drop the tire unscrew the fender and then I can get to the holes for the for the sissy bar so uh, as so we have it it's off so there is a little failure but I am going to just give it a rough little trace so I can get myself a little cut out so uh, that's the shape uh, I don't really see much in there but um, I'm gonna upgrade it I'm gonna probably do some little cross braze in there cut this center off so we're gonna end up with um, something nicer on top you know Alright, we have a little markup. You can see over there. Now we just need to cut it out, which is gonna be a bit of a mission, but I'm up for it. Alrighty, so whew, there we have a one bracket. Only um, <laughs> three cutting discs later, they were uh, well, this big, 105 mils. I have tiny itty bitty ones, but we have two brackets made. So uh, hopefully this will be strong enough. Is it anything strong enough for the iron head, is it? It's another day, another rainy day. Uh, and I got my get um, ahead of myself. I have um, finished making the brackets, and um, I have also cleaned up the CC bar. So the brackets kind of look like that. They are a little bit on the chunky side, but I wanted something more substantial. They are made out of five millimeter steel, and um, I have. Clean out the sissy bar. So I um, took off the old brackets and I cut slots uh, to put my bracket in. So um, this should slip inside there. Well, it's on the tighter side. I want it to be tighter. It slips in there. And I welded it up, welded it up. So there is another um, another practice with the TIG. So I'm quite excited and nervous as usual. But um, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there.
welding is officially done. Uh, first time today I actually used a foot pedal, which using foot pedal on a steel, I don't know if it's necessary, but I thought I'll have a little practice. And it is pretty hard. I'll just turn off the welder. It is quite hard to keep a control and understand what what the foot pedal does when you turn off, when you turn on. I think I wasted way too much gas stepping on a uh, foot pedal, but it was a good practice. And um, that's my welding of the corners. That's my last, this is my last weld on this side. And um, that one is not as pretty. And this one is okay. It was actually quite tricky to, uh, I know I watched videos and the guys say, you know, be comfortable, put your elbows down, make sure you can move. But welding this off the table, it's um, actually quite hard. I was standing with one foot on a table, both hands up in the air and just no support whatsoever. So um, those welds without any kind of support, I'm pretty okay with. Uh, much. I love it much better than this old, you know, and this is all MIG, my old guestless MIG, which I grinded down. So I am actually quite proud to put this on the bike. Uh, I know the brackets are chunky, but um, at least the weld looks really neat ish, you know, considering my first welding. So uh, yeah, happy days. Now I'm just gonna cool it down, shove it back on a bike, put the bike together and um she'll be ready to roll again against people who patent it being negative when you should be getting after it i got facts over facts over tracks this and that spitting slow spitting fast i could roast i could gas think i'm okay at last but i don't know if that can erase all the past and the pettiness of reflection of the emptiness hilarious you think you're with my time you're delirious okie dokie that is um sissy bar done Just and uh, I think it's on a steeper angle than I had it before. I don't know why. It has shifted a little bit. Uh, it's, oh well, it is what it is. Um, not gonna grind it off now. Man, I used five cutting wheels. They were about this big to make it. So, um, hopefully, it'll hold this time. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting. If you have any suggestions, tell me what I'm doing wrong and or not. <laughs> and um, I don't know, say good day. Where are you from? What do you do? What bikes you ride? Do you like building stuff? Do you weld? Do you cut? Do you have a nice workshop set up? Yeah, just uh, let me know. It will help my channel and uh, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. Um, thank you.